All right. Hello, YouTube. I'm taking a quick ride today. It is much, much needed. It's been super cold. Snowing, icing. And yesterday and today has been super warm. And I think it's supposed to rain like literally for the next two weeks straight. So I don't have any plans. I just wanted to get out and ride. Um, oh, I am testing some new pants today. They're HWK or something, like super cheap on Amazon. Um, they seem okay. Yeah, I mean like comfortable wise, they're not too shabby. And <laughs> did I mention super cheap? Because <laughs> that they are. And I feel like it's really windy. It's a little sunny. So I'm heading into the sun. I don't know if that's going to look bad on camera or not. Just needed to get out. So I'll, I'll do a review on the pants if I like them. I mean, so far, they're not too shabby. I mean, I think they're under 60 bucks, maybe 69. And they have a bunch of pockets, which is cool. They're waterproof. They got a couple little vents. So, I mean, they don't feel bad. They, they don't feel as thick as like, even my cheap Joe Rockets. Whoa, that sun just, it can hit you so bright. It just blinds you. Like, I don't even know the point of these drop down shields with face shields. Like seriously, they don't really protect hardly anything from the sun. I mean, I guess they're better than nothing, but it's, it's pretty much like nothing. Oh, I just smushed a bug on my, on my face shield. I'm getting a lot of wind noise. So I'm going to keep on these little back roads. There's a lot of gravel right here usually. I mean, it's like, you know, I, uh, it, I came out here at like, it's almost six o'clock. And up there is where I go off-roading a lot. But today I'm just kind of just chilling. Everything's still going to be super muddy. Like, I know my land's super muddy. I was out yesterday clearing some trees that fell down on some of my trails. Now, let me tell you, chains, like using a chainsaw when it's muddy and you're on a super steep hill, probably not the safest thing to do in the world. But yeah, I had to clear three trees that fell and while I was at it, I went ahead and just cleared up a little turnaround point at the end of one of my little dead end trails that I haven't connected yet to the other trails. So that's what I do when I'm not, when I'm not on the bike. Usually I'm working. I'm a web developer, so I'm always always at the computer, always at the desk. So if I'm not working and I'm not on the bike, then nine times out of ten I'm usually doing something around the land. Either clearing trails, doing tractor work, or it's always something. It's like never ending. 
And here lately I've been playing guitar again, trying to um, write some more songs for the uh, for my videos. And that's been really fun because this time, like I used to, like when I say play guitar, I used to play guitar. I used to pretend to play guitar. I mean, I could like, you know, play songs that, I could make up songs and I could play other people's songs, but I didn't really know what I was playing. I mean, I knew like, you know, the standard chords and whatnot, but you know, I couldn't tell you if, if I was playing a scale or I didn't know anything about keys and majors and minors and all that stuff. Dude, that sun is right in my, uh, that's another thing I do like about the bills. Uh, whatever you call them. You can kind of tilt your head and kind of block the sun if you have to. Anyway, so back to the guitar stuff. So I never really learned the proper way, I would say. And so that's kind of what I'm doing this time around. And it's really fun because it's... Everything makes a lot more sense. Like, you know, I'll learn a different scale or something and be like, oh, well, that's part of the solo for this song, or, or oh, no wonder those notes sound so good together. So now I'm understanding like the wah. So that's been super fun to actually learn what it is I'm actually playing. And oh man, this sun is killing me. So I did end up getting a new used 15 year old Mexican Strat. And it's the first Fender Strat I've ever owned. Pretty much the first non Abanez I've ever owned. Usually I have an Abanez RG or S series. But the Fender Strat is like almost brand new. There's not a scratch or ding on it. I bought it used uh, a couple days ago. And. I'm kind of hoping it helps me play different, if that makes sense. Because like, like, I don't know, just like a change in pace, like a change in scenery and ambiance. And, you know, the whole vibe feels different and the super heavy, holy crap. It probably weighs as much as like two of my Abanezes. So like I still, would always keep my Ibanez 7 string for any time I want to play like something super low like some corn or deftones or I like to see the sun set and you see the tops of the mountains still have sunlight but yeah I think I left about an hour too late so anyway yeah the new guitar I ordered some locking tuners for it and just some new strings so we'll see how it goes playing the fender i do like the neck shape it feels totally different than the abanez wizard shapes because they're like super flat and super narrow whoa look at all them deer look at all them i don't know if you guys can see them maybe the backup camera can and it's like super dark now, so this video is probably going to come out terrible. We'll see. So yeah, new used guitar. And... Um, I got a new amp. A Boss Katana MK2-100. Thing's pretty cool. It's like a you know whatever solid state amp that has the, uh, I guess it's called modules modulations modulations whatever the fake amp sounds it's one of those jobs but surprisingly it sounds pretty good but I can't figure out the setting I really want to try to get like that 
old school Fender Strat sound out of the amp, which is one of the main reasons why I actually bought the Fender Strat. Well, not really the main reason, but yeah, I mean, if you get a, a Strat, you want it to sound like a Strat. Well, right now I can't do that. I can't figure out the amp settings, what I need or don't need, or how much gain. Like I can't, I can't figure out how to dial it in. I haven't been able to yet. So I'm still working on that. But let me tell you, people say you can't play metal on a Strat. <laughs> Wrong. I can't seem to stop playing metal on the Strat. Even when I try not to. So those little single coils can still can still get dirty. I was pretty surprised with that. So I'm not sure though about the tremolo system. It just feels like super ghetto. I mean, in my Ibanez's, when I was younger, I used to have like uh, the Edge Tremolo, basically like a Ibanez's version of a Floyd Rose. But then, after I got rid of all those guitars, I really I, I didn't didn't want to justify the price of the the floating tremolos for as little as I played over the last 20 years well about 15 years so I've been going to the fixed bridge fixed bridge Ibanez's and they seem to sound pretty good and play pretty good so I'm debating on making the um, the strat fi uh, fixed bridge or not I love these little throttle locks. I won't ride, I mean, I won't go on a long distance trip without one. There's my motorcycle shop, dude. But yeah, the little throttle lock, not the throttle buddy that goes under your wrist. This just, this locks it into place. I don't know if you can see it. But then you just back off the throttle and it unlocks it. But, like I have a messed up shoulder and I need to lock it all the time and stretch and like pop my shoulder my shoulders pop all the time the moon was cool see I like it when you see the the sun on the hilltops feel good um, you know I'm not getting any wind where I'm not supposed to I'm not getting cold yeah so for the price I think they're fine I'm not sure how long they'll hold up, but some people, you know, gave some good reviews, some people gave terrible reviews. I kind of feel like anything at this price point is probably going to be hit or miss. Like, even if one person gets an awesome pair that, you know, lasts forever, but somebody else might get one that's just... Maybe they use the wrong thread or something and everything falls apart. So I guess the quality control is probably not going to be as good. Look at the mountains. It's only a slow mo. Do, do, do.
Uncle Purdy. Just like, you know, just like getting out riding. Just unwinding. Today was like super busy at work. We're switching over. Well, we're writing all of our new code at .NET Core and running it on Linux, which has been like literally my dream since like 2002. Since the early, early beta mono project days. And we're using Docker and everything to build and it's, it's pretty cool. I like learning new stuff. I don't know if I want to go stop. Oh yeah, look at that view. Now I got the I got the sun directly behind me. It's, it's shining in both mirrors. That's funny. You know this this really is a fun bike. It's a super affordable way to get out. If you want to just stay on the streets, it's fun. Handle the streets, you know, just, just as good as anything else. You know, ABS standard, which is a huge plus, I think. And you know, it's super comfortable. I'd have to say it's one of the comfortable, most comfortable bikes I've ever ridden. The V-Strom 1000 was definitely more comfortable. But none of my 650s are below. They're all horrible. Ooh, smell them cows. They're stinky. Ugh. It hurts my nose. Oh, you know what? There's a little street down here that I've never been down. And it looks kind of creepy. So I think we're gonna try. I like to find creepy streets. Oh, that might just been that same little street I just saw. So this might not do anything fancy. Oh, barns. It's a nice shot of the creek. Which creek is that? I know it's, that's not the James. It's way too small. Um, Look, now we're on the back side of the restaurant I just passed. Alright, that was kind of pointless. wonder where that street across there goes. So what? Long run. Alright, yeah, I have no idea where I'm at. And that's, to me, the... One of the great things about this bike, because it... It just makes me want to get out and explore and try to find like trails. Like see there's a few brown little marks. Those are trails. Now it could be somebody's property, I don't know. My great great grandma or great grandma had a farm up around here somewhere. And I keep going up and down these back roads trying to find it because I don't remember where I was at. Oh, this is a 55 mile road. People behind me. Speed up that hemi there, buddy. Why don't you close the down the road? See, I don't want to go fast. I just want to chill. Please road. Priest road. Please would have been funnier. See, I feel like we should have animals since we live out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, 
<laughs> Best news ever. Okay, I don't know if I've explained our internet situation where I live. We have US cellular internet, which is fun. It works. It's, you know, a cell connection instead of like a broadband or cable or Fios. And we left the DC area. We had Fios one gig up and down. Like at the time, it was the fastest internet in the nation. So we got really spoiled living there. And all of a sudden, now we're like DSL back in early 2000 speeds. And it is horrible. So we have three routers. So we can all have internet. We have three cell phones with um, the unlimited data plans. So we can hotspot and stuff for emergencies if we need to. And so anyway, it's horrible. It's super horrible. And we've been trying to get signed up with Starlink, um, the SpaceX, Elon Musk, uh, satellite internet stuff. So basically since we moved here and heard about Starlink, we've been trying to sign up and we finally got to sign up uh, a couple days ago and got accepted to uh, I guess it's still beta testing so yes Starlink their speeds are up to 150 megs down and up And right now, we're lucky to get seven megs down on our US cellular. We can probably get 20 megs down on our AT&T iPhones. But the upload speed is so slow, it takes me to upload a YouTube video. Like, I'll probably start one tonight or Friday. And it'll take all night to finish uploading and then it takes YouTube like usually two to three days to render uh, to process the HD version so yeah so everything I release on a Monday was uploaded usually a Thursday before so that's really kind of crazy to think about. tell me about fuel gauge see I'm kind of this I did I want to do a full review on this Garmin Zumo a lot of things I love about it and a lot of things just annoy me so bad like some of their default settings just really annoy me So, like always, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if, you know, what, what people think about, you know, if I was talking about guitars and, you know, web development stuff, code. I mean, because I have a lot of hobbies. I mean, I have so... Some of the hobbies aren't really hobbies, they're just things I have to do. Like some of the tractor work. It was fun 
first couple times and then now it's just a job. It's just a job that I don't get paid for. If that makes sense. So yeah, let me know um, if you guys like those topics or if you want to see videos on that. Like, would you like to see videos riding the side by side around the land and Thrasher Road? Oh, that's a dead end. Yeah, like the trail building stuff. See, my initial plans was going to be, you know, start recording everything. Like, the stuff I do around the land and, you know, I'm going to try to build, like, a little pole shelters and stuff coming up. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know if, what you, th you think if you're interested in seeing more videos of different things. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, hit the like and subscribe button. And, yeah, see you on the next ride.